हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू द एनवायरमेंट प्राइमर सीरीज ऑफ जस्ट डीआईएस माय नेम इज प्रज्ञा इन एनवायरमेंट प्राइमर सीरीज वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट आर नॉट ओनली रेलेवेंट फ्रॉम योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बट दे आल्सो हैव एन इंपैक्ट ऑन योर एवरीडे लाइफ दे आल्सो हैव अ रिलेशन टू द करंट अफेयर्स दैट इज गोइंग ऑन अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड डेफिनेटली क्लाइमेट चेंज रिमेंस ऑन आवर टॉप मोस्ट प्रायोरिटी बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ कॉमन कंसेंसस in the globe as well as in the scientists that yes this is a real phenomenon this is not something that is going to impact us in future this is something which is happening in the real time so today also we are going to discuss a very crucial topic because it is often clouded with confusion the title of our today's discussion is what is the 1.5 degree celsius threshold so we will be discussing what is this threshold and we will also see why have we kept this threshold and we'll also analyze what happens if we breach this threshold and we'll also try to find an answer to a very important question that haven't we already breached this 1.5 degree celsius threshold so in this discussion we'll firstly study about what is the 1.5 degree celsius limit we'll also see why 1.5 degree celsius we are also going to analyze how close are we to breaching this threshold and then we'll try to find an answer to a very important question that i have asked that haven't we already breached this threshold so we'll be understanding all of this in our today's discussion and lastly we'll see a practice question for your prelims examination so if i talk about the background of our today's topic 2023 has already shown us the real impacts of climate change it was the warmest year recorded uh, till now and we have also experienced more frequency and more intense heat waves we have also seen that yes the ice is melting we have also seen the frequency of cyclones also has increased so all of this is happening uh, because of the reason of climate change and that is why we need to understand that why we need to fulfill our promise of keeping the average rise in global temperature to 1.5 degree celsius so let us begin by answering or by trying to find an answer to the question that what is the 1.5 degree celsius limit or what is the 1.5 degree celsius threshold so this threshold was decided in the discussed and decided in the 2015 paris agreement okay so we have already discussed that yes paris agreement is our guiding light it is a beacon of hope for mitigating our so this 1.5 degree celsius limit was discussed and decided in the 2015 paris agreement and we have already studied about the paris agreement and we have seen that yes it is our guiding star it is our beacon for you know mitigating the worst impacts of climate change so this 2015 paris agreement pledged to limit the earth's temperature to well below 2 degree celsius above pre industrial levels by the end of the century and going further aim to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degree celsius above pre industrial levels to simply put it for you by the year 2100 we aim to limit the average rise in global temperature rise in global temperature to 1.5 degree celsius and this is why this is the 1.5 degree celsius threshold and this was pledged by the paris agreement okay and why are we considering the pre industrial levels because 1800s the industrial revolution began industrial revolution began and we started increasing the greenhouse gas emissions so basically the average warming of earth started from the industrial revolution when the greenhouse gases were increased their emissions were increased by human activities moving forward there is no specific mention of the pre industrial levels that is just a baseline that we consider to you know measure the 
levels of average rise in global temperature so why have we kept this baseline because they generally the scientists generally consider the years from 1850 to 1900 as a baseline and this is because it the earliest period with reliable near global measurements of temperature and that is why it is important to keep this as a baseline and we decide that yes the average rise in global temperature is happening if we consider this as a baseline because in industrial revolution the earth started after the industrial revolution the earth started to warm because of human activities because of the increase of the greenhouse gases so this is a pictorial representation of the global average surface temperature the blue bar see they represent cooler years cooler years and the red bars represent the warmer years so by analyzation of this pictorial graph data you will understand that yes after the in industrial revolution after the period of 1900s the temperature of the star earth started to rise slowly and gradually the average rise in global temperature started to happen and this is exactly depicted by this uh, bar graph or the pictorial representation of the global average surface temperature moving forward let us analyze why have we kept 1.5 degree celsius as a threshold limit how have we arrived on this number of 1.5 degree celsius okay so based on a fact finding report which concluded that even global warming of 1.5 degree celsius above the pre industrial average over an extended decades long period would lead to high risks for some region and vulnerable ecosystems the 1.5 degree celsius limit was included in the paris agreement based on this fact finding report but this is not a magical number see if the rise in temperature is to 1.51 degree celsius or supposedly to 1.55 degree celsius this does not mean an end to our planet similarly if we limit it to 1.4.9 degree celsius or 1.48 degree celsius this also does not mean that we will be successfully able to avoid the worst impacts of the climate change so this isn't a magical number this is just based on a report of the fact finding committee and therefore it was decided to set the 1.5 degree celsius limit as a defense line which should not be breached moving forward let us analyze what happens when we breach the threshold of 1.5 degree celsius okay so the intergovernmental panel on climate change or the ipcc projects that a breach of the 1.5 degree celsius threshold will increase the frequency intensity and or amount of heavy pre precipitation in many locations and the intensity of frequency of droughts in some and we have already seen in the year 2023 and this year 2023 has been very much erratic it has shown that how there was you know unexpected rainfall the ice is already melting we also experience flash floods we also experience more cyclones so yes this all is depicted by the year 2023 and that is why i said that yes this year 2023 was very real in showing us the impact of climate change so all of this will be experienced by us but in more magnitude in more at a more larger scale if we breach the 1.5 degree celsius threshold higher global temperature would also cause the oceans to warm which would increase the frequency of powerful hurricanes and increase the likelihood that they would intensely that they would intensify swiftly as they approach the coastal areas so all of this the glimpse of which we saw in the year 2023 will come true at a much larger scale if we breach the 1.5 degree threshold limit moving forward additionally wildfires will intensify and persist longer you might have heard in the news also about the california wildfires about the wildfires in the amazon rainforest so this all 
has been depicted to us in the year 2023 and that is why i said that yes this that year was a you know report card of the changes which we are going to face if we breach the threshold if we do not pay attention to mitigating the climate change phenomenon the sea level will also rise and it will be aided by the sharp increase in the sea ice melt melting of antarctica ice has already been in news we have also seen that yes there is a thawing of the permafrost region okay the majority of these effects have only recently begun to show themselves and they will only worsen if the threshold is crossed and this is depicted by the report of ipcc and yes definitely if we do not you know initiate or if we do not have some positive steps to mitigate the climate change we are going to face even the worse impacts of climate change okay and 2023 was just the beginning of all moving forward the wmo stated that there was a 66% probability that at least one of the years between 2023 and 2027 would break the threshold in its 2023 state of global climate report and we have already discussed this 2023 state of global climate report and the wmo is suspecting that yes the upcoming years there is a high probability that they will reach the 1.5 degree celsius threshold if we do not accelerate our efforts in mitigating the impacts of climate change this implies that one of these years would be the first to break the 1.5 degree celsius warming threshold for the whole year in 2023 we saw it and upcoming years the impacts are going to continue for the one full year okay and definitely this is a very worrying alarming sign and we should definitely pay attention to it because this is a very alarming warning that is made by the wmo moving forward let us understand our very important and pertinent question let us try to find an answer to the question that i have asked in the very beginning of my discussion that haven't we already breached the 1.5 degree celsius limit so temporarily yes in temporary situations yes we have breached the limit according to the latest data by europe's copernicus climate change service or the c3s about 50% days were more than 1.5 degree celsius warmer than the pre industrial levels and two days in november 2023 were for the first time more than 2 degree celsius warmer so temporarily as, as i have explained to you that yes 2023 showed us a report card of the changes that will be brought about by climate change the worst changes the worst impacts yes this 1.5 degree celsius threshold was breached for the 50% days of the year 2023 okay but if we talk about long term then this however does not mean the planet has breached the 1.5 degree threshold limit or the 2 degree threshold limit because we consider it for the very long period of time for example 2030 years it talks about warming over a very long duration of time that is why we have kept the threshold at 2100 of limiting the uh, average rise in global temperature to 1.5 degree celsius so if you'll ask me temporarily yes we have breached it but has the planet breached it no because it is uh, it should happen for a very long period of time for example till 20 to 30 years so there is still a lot of scope left for us to do there is still a scope for taking positive actions there is still a scope for avoiding the worst impacts of climate change and this is the silver lining that we should understand that yes by our efforts by our collective efforts by our positive steps we can definitely limit the worst impacts of climate change so this is also a pictorial representation of the daily global temperature increase above the pre industrial level in the year 2023 and by analyzing this you will realize that most of the days were above the 1.5 degree threshold limit and two days in november that is 
November 17, 18 were well beyond 2 degree Celsius limit and by analyzing this pictorial representation you will be able to figure out what I said that yes temporarily we have breezed it but no permanently not. We still have scope to limit the worst impacts of climate change. So with this we come to our conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen the 1.5 degree Celsius threshold limit. We have also seen what happens when we breeze this and we have also tried to find an answer to a very pertinent question that haven't we already breached this threshold limit or not. So we have discussed and studied about all of this. Now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So the question is with reference to the agreement at the UNFCCC or the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change meeting in Paris in 2015. Which of the following statements is our correct? Your statement number one is the agreement was signed by all the member countries of the UN and it will go into effect in the year 2017. Your statement number two is the agreement aims to limit the greenhouse gas emissions so that the rise in average global temperature by the end of this century does not exceed 2 degrees Celsius or even 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. Kindly let me know the answer in the comment box below and your options are option A is one only, option B is two only, option C is both one and two and option D is none of the above. So kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any positive feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you liked the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.